right, I'm heading over to Cafe Buell, located in the Diamond Jamboree Shopping Center here in Irvine, California. What I'm expecting is to see some kind of a Bitcoin ATM. I heard some uh, information that said that the guy who owns that place has some real uh, particular concerns about currency. So we're going to go see if we can find them and maybe use the Bitcoin ATM and see what's going on over there. All right, hang with me. Here we go. All right, we're here. Let's go check it out and see what's going on. Okay, the coffee shop is a nice place. Brand new, decorated very stylishly. No evidence that anything special is going on until you look in the back. And there you'll see a Bitcoin ATM. Now this Bitcoin ATM is made by a company not associated with the uh, coffee shop, but there it is. One Bitcoin, $260 USD. I went ahead and hit the English button and then start to see what I had to do. First thing I did was I entered in my phone number. And the system sent me a text message with the verification code. Not quite sure why it needed that, but I went ahead and entered it in. waited for the system to give me options, and I decided that I would buy some Bitcoin. I do have a Bitcoin wallet associated with the company Coinbase that maintains Bitcoin for you. The ATM then turned on a camera and waited for me to scan my QR code associated with my Coinbase account couldn't film that because I needed my phone to show the address as a QR code. As soon as I did, it suggested that I should enter cash into the, dis into the scanner, into the little cash receiving window down below. So I pulled out a $20 bill with one hand, gave it a shot. Curiously, the transaction limit for this machine was in fact $20. So this isn't going to be a place where you're making fortunes. You also notice that the machine is not particularly fast. So if there was any kind of a line at this machine, people would have gotten frustrated pretty quickly. Where do I insert the cash? I was convinced I was doing something wrong. And in fact, I was. I was putting it, the $20 bill in the receipts machine, rather in the receipt slot, rather than in the money slot. Slurp, there it goes. In a second, the machine registered that I had $20, translated that to Bitcoin, and then after I hit I'm done, set Bitcoin from presumably this company's wallet to my wallet. Now the rate that it gave me was a little bit less than what the open market rate was. And that's how the company makes money. They take a fee on top of the exchange rate. It can take as much as an hour to get confirmation that your Bitcoin had been sent cleanly from one address to another address. The Bitcoin machine seems to have done it a little bit quicker. I went ahead and printed a receipt. Took a few seconds. And out it came. Voila! My very first Bitcoin ATM transaction. I was able to have a conversation with the owner of Buell Coffee to find and find out what it was about Bitcoin that attracted his attention and what he found interesting about it. His name's Jai Ho and he's a very nice guy. And um, he didn't want to be filmed on camera, but he allowed me to record 
uh, the conversation and take some notes so I could let you know what does a real businessman uh, find interesting about Bitcoin. It's just the only time I've seen it physical, you know, seen physical versions of Bitcoin, it's been a failure every time I've tried to use it. 